All right, we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode two of uh, Chesswiz TV. Let's go ahead and close the stream so that, or on my computer, I mean, so that we don't lag out my chess game. So we learned that last broadcast. All right, let's join this tournament. Where's the join button? There it is. All right, we're broadcasting the daily. Off we go, the daily bullet tournament, and I win! See, this is something that needs to be fixed. People resign on the first move. I think it's because there's no penalty. Oh. There's no penalty for losing a game. And so people, if they, I think, this is my theory, if you expect that you're going to lose because you look at their rating and it's way too high, you just resign and move on to a better opponent so you can start winning more quickly because you only get points for wins and uh, draws and not losses. So there's really no point in spending a lot of time losing because it's kind of a race in these tournaments um, so that's kind of bad it gives an unfair advantage to people with high ratings because they're the ones that are able to intimidate their opponents into giving up um, whereas everyone who does not have that advantage has to play entire games in order to win even if they're good players and can win it takes them more time so they don't have that edge of the free wins so I guess I shouldn't complain too much because my rating is one of the higher ones. Um, but I still don't think it's fair, so that should probably be changed. I need to get this bishop out of the way of my rook. So we're playing Lolpat for game one. He's moving pretty slowly, so I think I'm going to win this game on time, actually. It doesn't really matter where I move. I can't help but win if your opponent is slow enough. Though it doesn't matter what you do as long as you don't throw away too many pieces too quickly. Um, which I'm not doing. Lucky for me, I've not thrown away any pieces yet. So this is an excellent start to the tournament. And with four seconds left, I can now pre-move any move I want, and I will win. Oh, good game. Knight f7, that's a brilliancy right there. So even though I was a little bit late because of sound difficulties, we are live. So sorry about the sound. It turned out I had my settings wrong. Um, and rebooting the computer also, I think, helped. But, you know, computers are a little... A little uh, touchy now and then. You can't figure out why they're working and why they're not. Um, but we're on now, so no worries. Let me know in chat if you can't hear me. Actually, that won't work. If you don't hear me, and you don't hear me saying that you don't hear me, then do something about that. Maybe you should tell me that you do hear me. That would be helpful. Let me know if you can hear me. Just somebody tell me something in the chat over here that you can hear me, because otherwise I'll... Uh, go fix it. So far this game's been pretty peaceful. Not a lot has happened. It's a King's Gambit opening, if I remember correctly, but I uh, misclicked. I didn't mean to play d3 here. Early on I meant to play d4, so that was kind of weird, but I haven't lost too much from it. There's a pawn, so it's looking pretty hopeful here that I can win this game. I'd like to trade queens now because I'm up a pawn, also because that'll simplify uh, that's potential attack. So I'm very happy with this position now. He's going to trade down. And I think I've pretty much got the win. I just have to play carefully um, and quickly. Okay, maybe I don't because he just picked up a pawn, but I think I'm still doing well. Let's see what havoc I can wreak with my knight. This looks like a good square. Oh, he's got the same problem I did, which is too many pawns attacked by the knight. and you can't really guard them all. So, oh, but time is going to be the problem here. So, let's see what we can do. Moving quickly is the objective. And now he's got the same amount of time as I do. So, oh, Oh, lucky me. That was really, really close. It didn't really matter that I had an extra knight uh, because we each had two seconds. So I'm very glad I was able to outplay him on speed there. Today's tournament is a lot tougher than yesterday's. Uh, maybe some of the publicity I brought with the streaming has brought some better players, or maybe it's just chance, or maybe because it's Friday. Anyway, for one reason or another, we've got some pretty good players in this tournament. So it's not going to be a cakewalk to win it, but that's still my goal. Uh, for the record, I'm trying to win the tournament that I'm playing in. 
Yeah, that's a shocker. Um, I guess that shouldn't surprise anyone too much, but it's an official goal. I really am trying. So, oh, thank you. That's a nice little bishop there. Pick up some free pieces. This game will be very, very short. Okay, a queen. I think it'll be short. How can I checkmate this guy quickly? Like this. That was nice and quick. All right, can you guys hear me? I may have mute turned on. Sound is working fine. Excellent. Thank you for that feedback. All right, 11 points. I'm actually in the lead on the tournament, and the reason for that is I've had some quick games. Tournaments are a little bit unfair in that the faster your games are, uh, the better you do, but I, I kind of like that. It has adds a little randomization to the tournament um, in terms of who gets ahead. Uh, because the best player isn't always going to win the tournament. Even if they win the most games, they have the problem of uh, maybe playing some slow games and getting their wins too slowly. So, you know, I like that. kind of mixes it up. It's different than a regular, uh, just a series of chess games. So some people might not like that because it's not fair, but hey. Life's not fair, so get used to it. What shall we do here? Uh, I guess I gotta protect there. Keep my pawns together. Let's close it up. I like that he's got a bad bishop there. This bishop's really just a tall pawn, as they say. Not really a bishop at all. Let's trade. If he moves his rook, that'll I mean his bishop that'll save time. Uh, I'd like to trade my bishop for his. Uh, my light squared bishops, that is, because my light squared is my problem bishop. All these pawns over here on d5 and c4 are, are whoops, well, they're disappearing for one thing, um, so they're not going to be a problem anymore. Um, but since they're on light squares, they kind of block. This is bad. Yeah, that's it. I lost a piece, and I have five seconds. So learning from tournament setting, better to give up now than waste time not winning. Because this game is all about winning and winning quickly. I like the setup. I like to get my pawns up here on the fourth rank side by side. Makes them nice and powerful. Uh, you have a lot of control of the center. As you can see, I'm attacking c5, d5, e5, f5, and g5 with my pawns. Whereas for him, he'd be have to, having to attack this fourth rank. Um, with his in order to get the same effect. So I've got a lot more space here in this position, and that's just going to give me a lot more opportunities going forward. In the future, my pieces will be able to do more than his. See if I can pick up this e-pawn. Be very nice of him to... Oh, thank you! I didn't really deserve that. We call that a hoping move, where you hope he doesn't see it, and if it works, then you get a prize. But hoping moves are bad form. You should not play hoping your opponent will make a mistake, because uh, then when they don't, then you really didn't have any plan at all. Hmm. I hope I get more free pieces. So don't play hoping moves, guys. It's actually really tempting to play a hoping move, because especially in a fast game, a lot of mistakes are made, so it can be a way to win. But don't let winning fool you. Hoping moves are not a good idea. Yeah, winning can be very deceiving. You can think you're such a smart player because you're winning, and it turns out it's just the opponent being really bad, which is why you're winning. And you find that out when you play stronger players. It turns out you weren't good at, at all, after all. You're just better than your opponent. But hey, that's all that matters. There's another win. Takeda has tied me up here, 13 points. Oh, and there's another win. He's in the lead. That is a fat rating. Let's see if I get to play him. I don't. Okay, so I need to be winning faster. I don't need to win better, but simply faster, because these tournaments are like a race. By the way, I want to clear up some, some falsehoods, some misconceptions I told you guys last time, last episode, last stream. I said that the win streaks were 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. That was fixed slash changed. Um, so now if you've got a win streak going, you get one additional point, no matter how long the win streak is, for each win. So a win is normally two points. If you've got a streak going, it's three. Period. That's all. That's a lot more fair um, because really long win streaks give you a linear reward instead of an enormous reward. So it's a good thing. It's a great change. Just need to get, make sure everybody understands that. Secondly, um, I thought that the pairing was purposefully top to bottom, like the top rated players played the bottom in the first round. That's not correct. 
instead pairing is completely random. Um, which normally I wouldn't like, you know, randomizing things isn't quite fair, but like I said, tournaments kind of mix it up, so you got to get used to different different uh, situations, and, and tournaments are just one of those. So if you don't like it, just don't play tournaments. Just play regular games on the site instead. Is this guy going to try to mate me? Yes, but he's not going to succeed. He's just going to take those pawns while I make a queen over here. Have all the pawns you want. I'd rather have a queen. This is going to be a problem for him. Oh, very good. You took all my pawns, but I only got one queen. Maybe you're doing okay. Uh, now this is rook for only two pawns, but they're all on that one side of the board. So let's make another queen. <laughs> Normally you don't get to promote two pawns in one game of chess, um, but this is special. Yay! Okay, now he's really sunk. The problem is this game is just about the slowest it could be. I have 10 seconds left and he had two. So that adds up to 12, if my math is correct, which is not very many seconds spent not playing chess. Basically, I want to finish as quickly as possible so I can get more points and pass this guy who's super fast. Look at that. We've only lost once each, but he's got two more wins than I do. So partly that's because he's faster. Oh, okay, now I get to play him. So if I beat him, I can pick up three points on him. Let's play a close Sicilian. Double those pawns. This is my secret weapon here. This opening. Except I'm not used to c4. That's very strange. Um, probably because I messed up and allowed it. But let's see how it goes. So now we're turning into a French, kind of, where he had, doesn't have a b-pawn. Instead he has a c-pawn, which he can use um, to cause even more grief to my center. So this is really good for him. I like this opening for him. Downside is I'm not him. So if we could work on that, then we get everything fixed here. But I'm going to have to content myself with not being him for a while. Don't see any change in the immediate future. It's nothing too serious. Um, my position's not too serious, but I do kind of like his better. Oh, I can't. I can't spend time just thinking. I've got to move fast. This is a one-minute game. Anywhere. As long as I move, let's just keep moving around. <laughs> wasting time, hopefully just wasting less time than him, because um, it's going to be all about the clock here pretty soon. Nine seconds left. Oh, he's coming to visit. Uh-oh. I left this knight unguarded. The funny thing is I noticed before... I let go of the piece, but I still moved there. Opposite color bishops, that's a draw, right? Never mind that he has an extra knight. Oh, out of time. Bah! And against 1.6. Well, at least I slowed him down um, by slowing myself down. So by picking up three more points against me, he's taken a very sizable lead in the tournament. Uh, go there. This guy's smart at flying really fast. I'm not that seasoned in these tournaments. I uh, played a couple, but I don't know, you know, the tournament-specific strategies beyond just being a good chess player, or in my case, a fast chess player. You really want to finish the games quickly, and that can be even more important than winning. That's something I haven't really gotten used to. Just because your tournament points come, the faster you play, the more they come. Castling on the queen side. That's very dangerous of him. Let's start rolling pawns down on him here. Hmm. That's not safe to recapture. Hmm. That's not safe to recapture. Hmm. Somebody's taking a lot of pieces. Okay, I'll stop there. How are we going to look at the end of this? I'm going to be down one pawn. That's not good, so I don't want to 
trade queens. So that I'll pick this pawn up. No, I'll still be down a pawn if I do that. I should do it. So I don't get my queen pinned to my king, which would be very painful. This is pretty bad. Pretty bad position. Not only that, but I'm quite low on time. Ooh, that was dangerous. Ooh, that was dangerous. But now I can reap the benefits of my dangerous moves. Pre-moving like this, they, they might be moving where they can take your rook, so you never know when it's your, the last moment you'll ever be seeing your rook. Oops. Oh, I need that. No, don't take it. Oh, phew. Ah, this is a problem. Definitely going to lose this game. Unless he messes up. Now I've got a chance. See, that was time also. He had three seconds left, but I guarantee you he couldn't have beaten me in those three seconds. Um, even with that rook, he gave up his queen. And then all I have to do is move my king around in a circle. Let's see how many people are in chat. A couple of people? Cool. King, king around, king around, king around, then he runs out of time. All right, this is my chance to overtake the leader because I'm playing him. So I win this game, he loses, I pick up three points, he spends time losing. That's the key to upsetting people in the tournament. Make other people spend time losing. Goodbye, center pawn. Fianchetto. It's called a fianchetto when you, when you move your bishop one space over there to the corner, um, which gives it the long diagonal. It's a pretty nice setup for your bishop. The downside is it takes a couple extra moves to get it set up because you have to move that side pawn to do it. Usually you want to be moving center pawns in the opening because they uh, they control the center better. Um, so moving side pawns is less of a good use of time for your moves. So that's a trade-off there. Not really getting much done with my knights, just kind of jumping around hoping to make something happen. All right, we're back. Uh, my computer completely locked up, rebooted. Um, so part two of episode two is what you're watching here. Um, I have a feeling I lost that game. Yeah, I'm pretty much stopped in my tracks. I've lost four games in a row in this tournament. Um, so that's that's a pretty bad combo there. Losing streak is not what you get rewarded for. So hopefully uh, that wasn't too disruptive. I probably went offline for a bit and then popped back. So hopefully everybody's able to reconnect with no problem. I'm going to blame Ustream uh, broadcasting software for that lockup uh, because my computer doesn't usually just freeze up and say unexpected error shutting down, honk, beep, beep, that kind of thing. Um, but I didn't have time to file an error report. I mean, a window pops up and says, would you like to send an error report to Ustream? And I'm like, oh yes, that's the problem. It's Ustream. So here's my error report. So I hit yes, and then it says, please fill out your email address, a detailed description of the problem. I don't have time for that. I'm playing chess. So I definitely uh, closed that window as fast as I could and got back to business. Which means they'll never know my computer froze up. But maybe they'll watch the stream and find out. Take that, Ustream. What's going to happen? Oh, that's what's going to happen. Man, my play is falling apart. Falling apart. Okay. E5. Got to change it up here. He offers a draw. Hmm. I decline. Okay. There's my win. Now I'm doing better. 18 points. At least maybe I can overtake Moy 37, 37, 37. This is my main opponent now, uh, because I'm like one-third the points of the tournament leader. King's Gambit. You know, I'm not really a fan of the King's Gambit. I play it because I used to play it, and so it's kind of muscle memory for me. Which is kind of sad, but it's, it's good for throwing um, lower-rated players. And by that, I mean this 1400, because he's lower than I am. It's good for throwing them for a loop and kind of getting them out of their opening book because it's not a popular opening. So that means that uh, the people I play probably haven't seen it too much. So they don't get to use what they're comfortable with. They have to kind of invent something new on the fly. Against stronger players, that is definitely not true because um, they have seen that opening many times and they have something prepared that squashes it. 
So that's the downside, you know. Would you like to be squashed, or would you like to throw your opponent off? And that just depends on how strong your opponent is. But that's generally true. The stronger your opponent, the more you're squashed. So no surprise there. I should have taken b7 with my bishop, uh, which would have forked his rook and knight, and pick, picked up some, some material, instead of just losing a pawn, my c5 pawn. So that would have been a better option. Let's pin that guy down and win it. Pin it and win it is the phrase of the day. I don't really want to win it though, because it would just be a trade. Since I'm not ahead, I'm not so interested in trading. Now I'm ahead, so let's trade here, tr take this. I'm up a pawn, up two pawns. All right, let's make some queens out of these guys. Trade rooks, you make it too easy. Too easy. Here we go. The one slightly complicating factor here is that he has three pawns on this side facing my two. So that means in the right scenario he could break through and get a, a pawn past mine on that side of the board. Uh, but this is not the right scenario. I'll just walk over there and take it. Oops! It's a good thing he's out of time. That's all I can say. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess that was the right scenario for making a queen over there. So you got to watch out for those pawn majorities. Pawn majorities where you've got more pawns than the other player on a specific side of the board, the queen side or the king side. It's important because if it were just up to pawns, you could make a queen. Now it's usually not just up to pawns, um, but it is enough of a factor that you want to pay attention to that, see how you can promote a pawn into a queen there in the end game. I've been playing Lolpat a lot this tournament. Very kind of him to play me a lot since he's. 1388. Probably because I'm losing so much, I get paired against him. But then again, they say the pairing is completely random. So maybe I'm just being lucky. Let's close up this opening. Okay, I should have done that. This e5 pawn is loose now. But hey, when you get half a second to think about it and move it, it's a uh, not a lot of time to make your decision. Oh, I could have taken h6. If I could time travel, go back in time, change my move to what I should have done, then I would be such a good chess player. Check. Uh, mm, can't make anything out of this. So I'm down one pawn on each side of the board, but I'm ahead um, 30 seconds, and that's all that's going to matter. Check. Watch this. Oh, he's out of time. I had a brilliant move. He was going to king h8, and then I was going to queen f6. Check. Which would hang my queen, but he'd be so excited uh, that he'd try to take that queen, it would take him too long, and he'd run out of time. So that would have been brilliant. Pretty solid third place here. I don't know how I'm going to get past uh, to second place at this rate. It's going to take a lot of wins. I'm basically going to have to play this guy because with 12 wins, 3 losses, he's not really likely to lose a lot more games unless he loses to me. Let's see who he's playing now. There he is playing chess player 12. Oh, is he really a chess player? Maybe he's just pretending to be a chess player. It's a disguise. Does that look like chess? Nah, that's not chess. It's a trap. For those who don't know, that's a quote from Star Wars. The only reason I know it is because everybody else knows it. Do I want to give up my bad bishop for a knight? Okay. Bad bishop is a bishop that's on the same color squares as your center pawns. I've mentioned bad bishops before um, as being bad, which is true. They are bad, but it's also a technical term. Bad means same color. So you can even have a good bad bishop if your bad bishop <laughs> is kind of outside your center pawns and can work around them. Um, but that's pretty rare. They're bad, bad enough that bad means bad. Hope that made as much sense to you as it did to me. Should I close everything up? It's a little dangerous <clears throat> because he could throw away a piece over there uh, and break it open just the right time to checkmate me. And look at that, he is. Oh, I didn't see it's not even throwing away a piece very much. This is uh, very scary. 
Very scary. I don't think I can save myself. I should have queen e2 last move, um, which would... Uh, that wouldn't even help very much. I don't see a way out. I'll give up. Wow, nice attack. I take with the uh, knight, he takes with bishop. He'll recapture with bishop no matter what I take. And then my king will be exposed. Got to keep that king covered. So that was a nice attack there, pushing those pawns down on me. I should have done something about that. But no time to think about it now, because <clears throat> game number whatever has started. Probably about 9 or 10. Should I get a castle? Very good. Uh, he shouldn't trade there. Because he spent two moves on his bishop. He brought his bishop out here, and then he took my knight with it. That's a lot of work, um, just to invest in trading it for something that only moved once, which would be my knight in this case. Also, bishops are often a little bit better than knights. Not a lot. You've probably heard that they're worth three points, same as knights. And that's true, they're worth about three points, but in a lot of positions you prefer a bishop, because it can move further. The time you wouldn't is when there's a lot of pawns closed up in the center of the board. In those cases, you could prefer a knight because it can jump around a little bit better in a closed position. But anyway, not so not so smart to just go make that trade right away. So that was a little bit of a loss for him. I wonder if I can... Well, I'm up a pawn, so let's just trade. I was thinking about how to attack that king in the corner because there's an open line there. But I'm up two pawns now, so I don't regret my decision to trade queens. Got to bring these pawns down. Pretty simple winning strategy here. Because there aren't a lot of pawns to challenge them. Do I want to trade? Eh, let you trade with me. We've now officially entered the end game. Yeah, this attack is... Well, it's not really an attack. I'm just... Oh! The one catch is its opposite color bishops. His bishop is on white colored squares, and mine's on dark colored, so it could be hard to um, to uh, avoid a draw. That tends to be drawish. But when you're out of time, a draw becomes a win or a loss. Because it takes 50 moves to get a draw. You have to move your bishop around and around and around, because the 50 move rule, if there's 50 moves without a pawn moved or a piece captured, then you finally get the draw. So that's way too long for a speed game, which means a lot of those positions that would be draws um, become a win for whoever has more time. So definitely want to keep that in mind. Whenever you see uh, opposite colored bishops, if you're down to a white squared bishop, for example, your opponent's down to a dark squared, uh, move quickly because it's probably a draw, except someone's probably going to run out of time. And that person will be you, unless you anticipate it. Playing the tournament leader here, Takeda, or Takeda, or Takeda, or Takeda. Hmm. Knight on the rim is dim. Why would you go over there? Maybe to go over here. See, this is a little bit of an advantage for him to trade his knight for my bishop. Because like I was saying, knights are slightly preferred. It's not a big deal, but it's still something he would probably want to do which is why I escaped it with my bishop. This is not so good. Biggest problem though is my time. If he had 16 seconds and I had 32 instead of the other way around, um, then I would probably win this position, which tells you that I will probably lose because I'm the one with that little time. Don't take my bishop. No, I need that. I had grand ideas for that bishop. Mm -hmm. Fishing around. I think that... My king's in pretty big trouble. I want to bring over some defense there. Because he has queen and bishop barreling down. Oh, everything's in big trouble.
He knows. He knows my time is out. Look at that. I started thinking, oh, yeah, look at that free piece. Look at that free piece. Going for it, but he's just watching the clock. He knew my weakness. Akash, 01. My win record against him is two wins, zero losses. By the way, I really like this little display down here in the corner. They added that a couple weeks ago. It's really nice because when you play someone new, you can say, oh, wait, this is not someone new. This is someone old, and I've never beaten him. And then you can instantly feel discouraged, which is good. Don't waste time. You can start feeling discouraged right away. It's a great time saver. Look at that pawn structure. So he's got a problem. Two pawns lined up like this. The issue with pawns is they really only move forward unless they're capturing something. Um, which means those pawns aren't going anywhere because forward's kind of blocked. So they can't work together very well. Instead, they're kind of a weakness. They can't defend each other. They can't move. My pawns are a lot stronger. I mean, look at this. This guy's guarding this guy. This guy's guarding this guy. It's a very nice setup. So, And I just took a free pawn. So I'm, I'm looking great here. I think I can win this game against Arkarsh01. I can even trade, which is my favorite thing to do when I'm ahead. Except I got my knight stuck. Oh, thank you. Rook a7 and my knight couldn't have moved. And that would have been pretty disappointing. Ten minutes left to the tournament, so coming down on the end here, somehow... Hey, stop it. My phone's talking to me. <clears throat> As I was saying, I'm in solid third place. First and second have pulled amazingly far ahead of me. So that's kind of disappointing. I think that my goal of winning the tournament is pretty much unreachable at this point. So maybe my goal can be to finish the tournament without my computer locking up again uh, with a huge error. That might be attainable. Cross your fingers. Hmm. Let's get this queen off the back rank. That looks like a tiny move, you know, just one space. But it's actually an important part of bringing out your pieces, finishing the development of your army, is getting your queen off of the back rank. So anywhere up here that's not uh, on rank number one, the reason that's important is you want to get your rooks kind of protecting each other connected so that they can quickly shift to whatever line is open. Thank you for the free knight. So, and if there are no open lines, you just go to the center. They're more useful here um, in the D and E files than way off on the sides, you know, where they start out. <clears throat> so if you don't know what to do and your queen's still on the back, just move her off the back and start getting your rooks to better, better files than where they start. The attack is coming around, but so is the defense. Hmm. I guess I'll trade. That knight was getting a little bit dangerous. It was threatening f7. Knight takes f7 here. Which I didn't have a good response to. My king would be trapped in. I'd have to trade my rook for that knight. Not a lot of fun. No one likes trading rooks for knights, unless it's an amazing sacrifice. But that's not too common. What shall we do? Open it up. Uh, well, he has two seconds left. What does it matter? Take that. Take that. Take that. Oh, out of time. Too bad. Look, you're going to win a free rook, too. Ah, oh, bad luck. So look at that spread. 70, 56, 31, 20. This is a huge, huge differences here between these four. And I really don't think anyone is going to pass anyone else. Um, and then down here... They're also pretty spread apart, and then these guys all dropped out of the tournament, so pretty small tournament overall. These two guys that left have 9 and 7. 9 points for 3 wins and 12 losses. Now that is impressive. The guy... How do you get 9 points from 3 wins? Now that's kind of a mystery, because you're supposed to get 2 for the first win. Oh, it's from draws. So you get 1 for a draw. Really? Let's take a look at this guy. He had loot, win, win, win. Let's see. Not games with me. Rated games. Lose, 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 win, lose. And that was a draw from the tournament. So he picked up one point that way. I think he deserves congratulations for losing 12 games and still getting 9 points, which is like 6th in the entire tournament. One moment. Have a little bit of water there <clears throat> so I don't die of thirst. Or lose my voice. The latter would be slightly more likely. 
but you don't want either, so it's better to drink water. <coughs> Looks like we got a little lull, lull. <coughs> excuse me, lull, lull, a little lull in the tournament, you stream, so let's go over to the channel and check out the chat. Pop out chat, and that's going to load up and lag out my game. Let's go back and play some chess. Might not be able to afford the lost time, but I'm going to risk it. You know what? I better not. Close that. Now I've given up 20 seconds, <clears throat> but I can stand it. You know, I beat this guy three times in a row before. Thank you, statistic counter. Um, so why can't I win one more time? Who cares if I gave up 20 seconds right at the start of the game? Get those rooks in. Are you going to try to checkmate me? You know that's very impolite. Can't believe he would try to do that. Let's trade queens. He doesn't want to trade, I can tell. It's because he wants to checkmate me. And it's a lot harder to checkmate without a queen. That's what he's thinking, I'm sure. But a queen by itself is not enough. So you're going to have to bring a couple more pieces over here. Let's close that up. Oh, too bad. A bad bishop blocked by a pawn which can't move. You know, that's just bad luck. I'm so sorry. Akarsha won. I don't have a lot of defense over near my king. So knight, bishop, and queen coming down, and only a queen protecting. He's definitely trying to checkmate me. Uh-oh. No, he's going to! Oh, why did I just waste time with my queen? <sighs> I had a way to prevent that loss. <clears throat> and then I just gave it to him. Hello, chat. Lamerson, this is a forum mod. It was by Clarky on the forums. He says, pairing is not completely random. You're paired against the first available player who you haven't played recently. Well, that's kind of a conflict. Uh, first, you have to define recently, but also, what if it's the first available... Okay, so recently must be the priority. If you've played him recently, then too bad. You can't play him. Otherwise, you play him. That makes sense. I was talking about the very first game of the tournament, which is random, according to the frequently asked questions. Look at that. My game here has all the spectators. I am on LHS TV. Um, it's kind of a surprise. Check. And let's see what we can do. Not enough. I'm going to drive that knight away with a pawn. It's kind of silly. It's too slow to get anything done, but hey, it looks like it might work. Yeah. Oh! I didn't win a piece. I had so close, so close. It was worth a shot. Look at all those spectators. I'm on TV. This is exciting. You know what happens when you see all these guys pour in and they're all watching your game? Is you play worse because there's no way you can have, you know, 20, 30 people or 10 watching you without having that affect your play. Um, but since I already have 20 people watching me, it works to my advantage because maybe that'll freak out the, the opponent because he doesn't have everybody watching him. It's kind of drawish here. Not a lot's, not a lot's going to happen. Oh, except for that. Oh, this is problematic. Problematic. Not only am I low on time, but he's kind of figured out a way to get some pawns off of me. Check. Ha. I went on time. And he didn't even take my rook. Ha ha. I was going to throw away the rook to slow him down. Turns out that would be a very bad idea, because without the rook, I would have no pieces, and then it would be a draw when he runs out of time. So it's lucky I didn't have time to execute my bad strategy. Looks like with two minutes left in the tournament, we're going to have only one more game playable, since a game can take two minutes, each side getting one of those two minutes. So hopefully I can finish it. Yes. 
Oh, and I get to play the champion, Takeda. Or Takeda. Or Takeda. Could be that. Uh, let's finish this off with a win, right? I don't think I've ever beaten this guy. Nope, he's beat me three times. So, this is my chance to vindicate myself and reveal that I'm not the wood pusher I seem to be. Here comes a checkmate! Oh, his knight's guarding it. That's too bad. Oh no! I fell in his trap. What a disaster. Yeah, this is, this is horrible. You know what? If I resign, maybe I can get another... Maybe I can get another match in and get some more points. Yes, I can beat Speedbreaker as fast as I can. I've got, you know, a minute 20 to do it. So I've got to really move fast. Boom, let's open up that king. Glad he didn't move that night because my bishops are flying. Look at this attack. It's coming in so fast. I've got one minute left. Come on. Gotta, gotta checkmate him in no time. Here comes my rook. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, who's checkmating who now? That was uh, a slight oversight. Uh, so I moved my rook over to try to bring it up and around my pawns. That's called a rook lift. Um, but it turns out there was some danger in that part of the board. And there wasn't really a safe spot for my rook there. Got checkmated. Hmm. Well, I've still got 35 seconds, so maybe I can beat this lol pat in 35 seconds or less. That's going to require a pretty fast attack and not trading queen, so please don't... No! How am I supposed to checkmate you if we trade queens? Ha! Faster! 10 seconds! Come on! I gotta go throw my pieces away. 5, 4, 3, no! Not good enough. Game aborted. Ah, I should have had that win against that speed guy. Speed whatever it is. Speed breaker. Um, but I was too excited. I had enough time for that one. So that's the tournament. Third place for the cheese whiz. Uh, for those of you who read quickly, that actually says chess whiz. <clears throat> it's a little easier to read on a chess website because um, you're thinking chess. You know, chess is what I'm thinking about. But outside of chess, everyone calls me Cheese Whiz by mistake because it looks like that. Um, so I've been haunted by that for years and don't call me Cheese Whiz. So, more messages in the chat. When you complete your game, you return waiting for the opponent. After each game finishes, two more players will return. You're played with the player who you played longer ago. That is a great setup. I like that rule. So you get a mix of opponents but and you don't play the same person twice. You're a really funny commentator. Yeah. Losing sure is funny. That's fantastic. Make fun of yourself. Congrats. Congratulations, Takita. Oh, congratulations. That's not what I mean to say. <laughs> Smiley face. I'm only joking. So... I don't think I'm making fun of you. Don't worry, I'm actually trying to be funny when I say, when I'm talking about being funny. It's kind of meta funny, if you know what I mean. It's recursive funniness. It's a pretty advanced concept. You have to go to college for that. Great games. So I'm now 0 and 4 against Takeda, the tournament champion. There's four games with me. A lose, a lose, a lose, and a lose. So congratulations indeed. His peak rating is 2499. Man, that is a good rating. If we look at the list of players here, who's online right now, there's only one person rated higher than that on the entire website. So this guy has been very, very high. Right now is 2278, 2278, yeah. He's uh, slipped quite a bit from that high. You know what this downturn is? I think it's because he joined the tournament. And how, what was his result? He lost three games. So it's tough for people with really high ratings to maintain them in a tournament because you play people like, you know, 16, 1700, and then you draw or lose one game and bam, your rating's down. So it's kind of a risk to your rating. I mean, you can see what happened to me. I started out at 2114, 
and now I've lost 100 points. Now I can't really blame the tournament for that, because if you look at my record, 11 losses. Pretty sad, so I can't blame the tournament that I played horribly. But still, it's tough on your rating, but that's okay. Right? Uh, tournaments are fun. So let's go play a Blitz game or two before we sign off. Uh, we've got about 10 more minutes. I can play 01, but that one's gone. I laugh at you. I can't laugh at him because he's gone. All right, 2011. That is so last year. Oh, I've played this guy a lot. Look at that. I'm 12 and 8 against him. So that means I'm likely to win. Let's put some pawns out there. Oh, yeah? Close that up. Move, 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 move. He's got 8 seconds. How did he do that to me? He's got all that time. Shall we trade? Let's trade. There went my good bishop. But don't worry. I still have a bad bishop. That knight is pinned. Uh, not quite. But let's kick it away anyway. Take, take some rook here. Hmm. Huh. I like this position. I'm holding the open file. Oh, that's not free. And it's still not free. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Go, go, go! Trade queens. Dive in. Yeah, my rook's pretty active down here. But I need more than just that. I need to get the rest of my army going. Here comes my knight. Ready? Boom, you have to move. Uh-oh, don't take my rook. No, no. He's, he's taking a long time. He didn't take it. I thought all that time, five seconds, was picking up his knight, you know. I'm picking up my knight, here I come. Kind of a thing, but that's not what happened. So, lucky me, the worst move of the game is what's giving me the win here. Trade again. Now I can't lose. Look at these three pawns. I'm going to get at least two queens out of this, hopefully four. And it's a win. He wants to play again. Fantastic. Anybody chatting? Nope. My smiley face scared him off. Don't worry. I'm safe. Capture. Now, why would you do that? Why would you take your pawn structure, your strong center, and just send it off to the side like that? Only in a one-minute game would you do such a thing. Because um, it really doesn't make any sense. Look at those pawns. Beautiful if you're line dancing. Otherwise, not so much. I'm hoping that he's not noticing my attack down here. And he noticed uh, a free rook. I didn't notice that. But in the end, I've got a bishop and knight for, for two rooks. Oh, ha! Huh. He's got a problem now. Thank you for all that stuff. Let's go fast. I got five seconds. That's plenty of time. Yeah, he's, he's a goner. Bishop at night, and unlike in a one minute game, I basically have infinity time to finish him off because every move gives me more time, not less. So, pretty nice. Close that all down. Yep, goodbye, good game. All right, let's play three more games, and then we're going to call it a day because I've got to go eventually live my life. And all that jazz. Why do all my games... Uh-oh, uh-oh, pawn fork coming in. Why do all my games end up as a French defense? I don't know. With that closed center, uh, I blame all my opponents playing exactly the same. That's probably the reason. Hmm. Got some loose pieces down here. Uh-oh, only one second. Got to step up the speed here. Ah. Ah. Two seconds now, that's way more time. I shouldn't do that, because night I made a big hole in my position. Hmm. And maybe also because I lost my queen. That's a secondary reason. Um, yeah, this is a big hole. I, when I had my pawn here, it was guarding the square, so my center was pretty strong. After I pushed that pawn up to c5, it's not hit. Um, then his knight could sink in here and I couldn't kick it away with pawns. So that was bad um, from a positional standpoint. In reality, he did not move his knight, so I took it for free and then lost my queen. So maybe that's not completely free, but it looked free. Um, but I really shouldn't have pushed c5. It was 
it was um, giving up, creating that hole. What's going on? How come I only have a bad bishop? Where's my good bishop? Hmm. It's tough to make good moves in a fast game like this. It's even tougher to make good moves in a fast game like this while talking about how hard it is to make good moves in a fast game like this. So you can imagine the difficulty that I'm facing. Boom! Uh-oh. Yes, I'm okay. All right, now I can win. I got a free knight. Well, not completely free, but free enough. Downside is that pawn is kind of dangerous. Oh, and I gave a knight back. Gotta go stop this guy. Uh-oh. No, he's gonna, he's gonna, no, he's gonna make a queen is what he's gonna do. And checkmate. Oh, that's not me. But it is now. Run out of time! Yes! I am such a good chess player. Look how I just beat this guy. Look at that! With only a bishop. All I have is a bishop, and I beat him. I mean, who can win with just a bishop? I'm fighting a queen, fighting all these pawns, but no, no good. I'm the winner. Ha. Take that, smadge. Take that. All right. Okay, one more game, and then we're going to call it a day. Uh, this guy's like, that's enough losing for me. I'm out of here. Probably just won three in a row or two anyway against him. One more opponent. What's it going to be? I wish I could play 0-0. Zero, zero. That would be my best time control ever. Um, but you can't. That'd be a great feature, you know, two seconds for the whole game. Um, I bet I'd be pretty good at that. Maybe that can be a feature request. It's going to have to be 0-1. Final game of the day, and it's against Says Who. Against Says Who, we are exactly 10-10. Ten and ten. <clears throat> So it's anyone's game here. Let's throw my pawns forward and take some center. Or not. Whew, just about ran out of time right there. That would have been so sad. I'm losing a pawn already. Oh, I'm not. Whew. I'm having a hard time holding things together. My clock's almost out. My pieces are hanging. But back to stability here. Doing okay again. Let's bring the center forward. Whoops, that should have been my bishop down here. And uh, it wasn't. But maybe I'll recover from that just fine. I dragged my, my queen instead of my bishop. Small mistake, you know? Oh, 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 ah, ah, no, not knight f3. Yes! He's like, oh, knight f3 is so good, right? Nope, sorry, that was the last game. Good game, by the way. Whoops, what just happened? Go back to that game. Leave this page. All right, good game. Oh, he's probably gone now. So he's like, knight f3, then I could take his queen, and if he moves that, I'm going to take his rook. This is fantastic. This move is going to make me win. So he picks up his knight, and he runs out of time. Man, you got to move fast in this game. All right, so that is episode two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be taking the weekend off. So I should show you, this is hopefully how the tournaments will look in the near future. Censored. The tournaments are going to look censored. Wow. That's kind of, I don't know what I think of that. Mm, is this like some kind of swear word or? Is hopefully how the tournaments will look in the near future. Maybe it's like a secret. I'm Only I'm supposed to be able to see it. Let's see who else is reading. Yeah, there's three guests. They can't see it because it's censored, right? Um, the only problem is no one else can. Oh, Imgur. Oh, it's a secret message. Oh. I'll check it out. Okay, if I stream it? Ha ha. Or do I need to hide the link? Actually, I don't, because, I mean, everyone on chat already sees that link. <laughs> so it is okay if I stream it. Never mind. I am silly. Okay, so let's go there. How do you get there? Inger.com slash secret passageway. Let's see if it's like this. Oh, here's the secret new tournament layout. So the hourly blitz, standings, double points, and a streak starter. And there's our favorite German 111, or 11. That guy has played more chess than anyone else on LI Chess. Let's duplicate my tab. 
By the way, that's a nice trick in a browser. You can right click, choose duplicate, and then do what you want to do in your other tab. So if I go players, um, there he is, active players, 31,000 games. So everybody should have heard of him by now. So here's your example. This shows score 27. Why? This is hard to read. Streak starter. So he's starting a streak here. How do you start a streak twice in a row? I don't know. He's on fire. Um, double points here. So he got one and it was doubled. This doesn't make any sense to me. Hopefully there will be a description. And look at that. He's got the 100% line, whereas these guys, they're not 100%. That must be your score. So 27 is full, and this guy's only like 93% of 27. You do the math. And then all the way down here to like 33%. I'm sure this guy, Clarky, is telling me what it's all about. Nope, he's not. It's because my, my stream's a little bit delayed. By the time he hears me complaining about this screen, it'll be too late. I'll be long gone. Cool. I'll just give him the positive feedback. Pretty clean layout. Oh, no, he did talk. No, he didn't. Okay. So I've got to run, guys. Um, I'll be taking the weekend off, so the next stream will probably be Monday. I will confirm that in the thread, which is over here in forum, general discussion, Chess was live stream. So I'll post the time of the next stream in here. Um, it's probably going to be Monday at 3 o'clock GMT, which is the same time as these first two streams. Um, but I will post to confirm that, because it might not be. So keep sharp. All right. Heading out. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, everyone. Back-to-back -back wins start a streak. You know, this is too confusing. Actually, I've just got to go, but I think this is a good plan. So, good work, Lamerson. Good work. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.